Chemistry lecture number 50, reactions that form precipitates. When two soluble ionic compounds are mixed together, sometimes an insoluble precipitate is made through a double displacement reaction. Uh, for example, a clear solution of CaCl2 mixed with a clear solution of MgSO4 will produce a white solid precipitate. So let's actually do that. This is MgSO4, otherwise known as Epsom salt, and this is uh, calcium chloride, and this is uh, put on driveways to uh, sort of melt ice. Anyway, um, I added some of this to some water, and I got a uh, magnesium sulfate solution, so you can see that it's a translucent, you can see through it. And then I took some of this and added some water, and I ended up with a saturated uh, calcium chloride solution, and you can see that uh, this solution is also translucent, you can see through it. So what I'm gonna do is, we're going to demonstrate how you can mix these two clear things and get something uh, that's insoluble. So let's start out. We'll take the uh, calcium chloride solution that has uh, calcium chloride dissolved in it, and I'm going to pour it into uh, this container right here just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some... MgSO4 solution, so this stuff is clear, you can see through it. You know, hopefully you can see through it, yeah, you can see my hands through it. Anyway, so this is magnesium sulfate solution. I'll pour a little bit in there like that. All right. So we have two clear solutions, so that solution is clear, you can see through it, and this solution is clear, you can see through it, so I'm gonna pour some of this together and we should get an insoluble precipitate. All right, now watch carefully. This happens kind of quickly. Maybe like that. Here we go. Ta-da! Okay. So if I shake this a little bit, I can get, ooh, there we go. <clears throat> so this white solid yuck that's in here is the insoluble precipitate that's formed when you mix the two uh, clear solutions. So I'm gonna put that lid on there. Okay, so you can see some white solid stuff in there now. All right. Now, we can actually predict the precipitate that will form when two soluble compounds are mixed together. And we'll follow three steps. We'll write the compounds in their dissolved ionic state. We'll set up a double replacement reaction by pairing the outer ions and the inner ions. Uh, we'll determine if the new ionic pairings will form soluble or insoluble ionic compounds. And we'll use the solubility rules that we learned in lecture number 48. And after we've done that, we'll write the insoluble compounds in non-ionic form. If necessary, we'll uh, try to balance the equations. All right, so let's predict the insoluble precipitate in the reaction. So this is the reaction we did. We mixed a clear solution of calcium chloride with a clear solution of magnesium sulfate. <clears throat> so here's what we're going to do. First thing, we're going to break these apart. This is going to be Ca2 plus plus 2Cl negative plus... Mg2 plus plus SO4 two negative. So this broken apart forms this, this broken apart forms this. And I suppose I should put AQ next to all of these things, but that's going to make the lecture longer, so I'm not going to do that. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to pair up the outer ones, and then we're going to pair up the inner ones. I'm going to rewrite this. So I'm just going to rewrite the order of these. I'm going to write Ca and SO4. And then I'm going to write Mg and Cl. For these inner ones, I'm going to write the positive ion first. So these two I'm going to write right here, writing the positive ion first. Mg2 plus plus 2Cl <coughs> negative. All right. Now, if you look at the solubility rules chart, um, this substance right here made out of calcium and sulfate is going to be insoluble. So this is the white yuck that's formed when you mix these two things together. And then if you look on the solubility rules chart, this stuff is 
soluble. All right. So <clears throat> to show that uh, this is insoluble, and it's supposed to be an L right there, and show that this is soluble, we have to rewrite this equation. So it's going to be Ca. Oops, can you see it over there? There we are. Okay, so Ca. Let me just do this again. Ca two plus plus two Cl negative plus Mg two plus plus SO four two negative forms CaSO four. So since this is insoluble, we combine them together. We don't write it in ionic form. Plus Mg two plus plus two Cl negative. All right, and then I suppose we can put AQ next to all these things. I'll do it once for just this one. So AQ means all of these are dissolved in water. And then this, we'll put an S next to it to indicate it's a solid. AQ and AQ. So the solid stuff is the white yuck that you see in here. And then AQ means that these ions are dissolved in the uh, liquid part of the uh, mixture. All right, now the above equation is called the complete ionic equation, and it shows all the particles in the solution, and it shows their physical state, whether it's solid or dissolved in water or a gas and so on. So this is the complete ionic equation. All right, <clears throat> now notice that Cl and Mg are on both sides of the equation. See, I've got a Cl here and Cl here. I've got Mg here and I've got Mg here. So they're on both sides of the arrow. So these ions don't react. Uh, ions that don't participate in the reaction are called spectator ions. And since these ions undergo no change, we can cross them out and write the equation with only the ions that participate in the reaction. So I'm going to cross out the spectator ions. And then Mg here and Mg here. If we were to just write the participating ions, we would get Ca2 plus Aq plus SO4, two negative Aq forms Ca, SO4, solid. And this equation right here is called the net ionic equation. And the net ionic equation only shows the ions that participate in the reaction, and they omit the spectator ions. All right, so this is the net ionic equation. OK, let's do some more for practice. Write the complete ionic equation and net ionic equation for the reaction between an NaCl solution and an AgNO3 solution. All right, so a reaction between an NaCl solution and an AgNO3 solution. All right, so. So the first thing we do is we break apart the ions. This is gonna be Na plus and Cl negative. And then this is gonna be Ag plus and NO3 negative. Pair up the outers, pair up the inners, rewrite it. I'm going to write NaNO3 and then I'm going to write AgCl. I'm going to write these inner ones and I'm going to write the positive one first. All right. If you look on the solubility rules chart, a compound made out of sodium and nitrate is soluble. A compound made out of silver and chloride, however, is insoluble. Chlorides are soluble except when combined with silver, mercury, and lead, and that's silver. So rewriting this, it's going to be Na plus plus Cl negative plus Ag plus plus NO3 negative forms Na plus plus NO3 negative plus AgCl, solid. And then you'd have an AQ next to all these. Yeah, 
AQ, 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 AQ. That's all. So that's the complete equation. The net ionic equation would just be um, Cl negative AQ plus AG plus AQ forms AGCl solid. So this is the net ionic equation right there. Let's do one more. Write the complete ionic equation and net ionic equation for this reaction. <coughs> All right, aluminum bromide. So this is going to be Al3 plus bromine. So that'll be 3Br negative. 3Na's. 3 is just going to be 3 hydroxide. So it's 3 OH negatives. All right. Pair up the outers. And the inners. If I were to rewrite this, Al and then 3OH. Right. I'm going to write the inner ones. I'm going to draw the positive ones first. Na plus plus, oops, 3Na, sorry. 3Br negative. All right. And now if you look on the solubility rules chart, a compound made out of hydroxide and aluminum is going to be insoluble. Compound made out of sodium and bromine is going to be soluble. All group 1 element compounds are soluble. So rewriting this, Al3 plus Aq plus 3Br negative Aq plus 3 Na plus Aq plus 3OH negative Aq forms AlOH3. So these three hydroxides attach themselves to the aluminum. And you write polyatomics in parentheses with the number of polyatomics on the outside. So this is a solid, because it's insoluble. And then this is going to be 3Na plus Aq. I'm running out of room. Plus 3Br negative Aq. So this is the complete reaction. <clears throat> and then if we just write the uh, net ionic uh, equation, it would just be... Uh, let's see, it would be Al3 plus plus 3OH negative forms AlOH3. And there you go. So this is a way we use to uh, predict what insoluble yuck will form when uh, you mix these two uh, clear solutions together. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 50, Reactions That Form Precipitates.